Taylor Swift is bringing renewed attention to the issue of AI deepfakes. The pop star, the latest victim of fake sexual images shared online without her consent. An ex had to temporarily ban the search of her name due to the picture spreading so rapidly. The incident has prompted some states to jump into action now. Both Connecticut and Missouri have now introduced bills to combat AI deepfakes, with Missouri even calling theirs the Taylor Swift Act. And the push to stop the spread of these non-consensual images, whether created by, by AI or not, has become a focal point for Susanna Gibson. Now, Gibson, a Democrat, was running in one of the most competitive elections in Virginia last year when an article by The Washington Post revealed Gibson had previously been captured in a recording of a live stream performing sex acts with her husband. The Post received that video from a Republican political operative. Now, Gibson ended up losing that election by fewer than 1,000 votes. And Susanna Gibson is joining us live tonight. And just this past week, she formed a new PAC called My Own, aiming to support candidates dedicated to legislative reform surrounding the non-consensual distribution of intimate images, including deepfakes. So Susanna, that was a mouthful, but it's such an important issue. Thank you for being with us tonight. Oh my gosh, thank you for having me. There is nowhere I would rather be. Oh, that's kind. I mean, we just shared a little bit about your story. This issue clearly so personal for you. First of all, what did it feel like to be the target of something like this? I think many of us can imagine what did it actually feel like and when did you decide you needed to do something about it? I mean, it, I, it's something I would not wish on my worst enemy. It was absolutely horrific to find out that you were the target of non-consensual pornography in tandem with having those images non-consensually distributed to millions of people. Um, you know, these are crimes that happen every day and can affect anyone regardless of gender or, or age or political party. But we know that they disproportionately target and harm women, particularly women of color and LGBTQ plus individuals and really at the core issues of equality. Do you know who gave the video to the Post? Do you have a message for them tonight? Uh, actually, we have some new information on that that I'm not comfortable sharing, but yes, I think we do. Um, and look, the most important thing is that we have to make sure that our laws catch up with to the technology, especially just given the rapidly growing number of technology-assisted sexual crimes like what's going on with Taylor Swift. And this requires attention at the federal level. Um, right now, it is being handled by a patchwork of state laws that can vary wildly from state to state. So it's an issue that really does need to be addressed at yeah. the federal level. Yeah, certainly. And very diplomatic of you. I think if I were you, I would say something like, how can you sleep at night at the very least? Um, any, If you could send a message to them, anything that you would say? Look, I think we need to understand the damage and the harm done of these crimes is severe. Ninety percent of victims of these crimes suffer severe psychological distress like PTSD, depression, anxiety. And what is actually particularly alarming is that 50 percent of victims of these crimes contemplate suicide. Fifty mm. percent. What other crime has that high um, of a suicide rate, right? So half of the victims are stalked or harassed online and 40 percent are stalked in person. Yeah, and Susanna, I, I'm gonna ask you about AI in a moment, but you mentioned, you know, you bring up this this mental health suicide component. Is that something that affected you after this happened? Absolutely. You know, the damage that's done to the victims, especially in these new kind of cyber attacks and sexual abuses, image-based sexual abuse, I mean, these videos and images spread like wildfire and part of the damage and harm that's done and makes that trauma so extensive is that it is everlasting and ongoing. Susanna, did you actually consider self-harm? You know, I was having a really hard time for a few weeks, but I'm lucky. I have a wonderful support system, yeah. wonderful family and friends. So I appreciate um, that. I'm I appreciate yeah. that. And Susanna, with the time we have, we have to talk about AI. Uh, these deep fakes have been an issue. It is getting so much worse now, of course, highlighted by this Taylor Swift incident. Um, and I think a lot of her fans were shocked that there is no federal law that prohibits this. Um, and we know that last week, bipartisan lawmakers did introduce a bill that would allow victims to sue people who create and distribute sexually explicit deep fakes. What is your reaction to this? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons I launched my political action committee, my own. You know, I formed it to help elect people across the political spectrum who support legislation to protect people against gender-based violence and sexual violence 
but especially with these new crimes, non-consensual distribution of intimate images, synthetic distribution, also known as deep fakes, and image-based sexual abuse. Yeah. So I know that together we can absolutely make a difference and influence legislation, but it takes a village. It, it does, and I appreciate you taking what you describe as, as a traumatic incident uh, in your life and, and just jumping into action this way, trying to help others. Susanna Gibson, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.